boy. Okay. We need to talk about something. Alright. You and me, this is real. Alright. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. I don't upload till tomorrow, but you know what? I gotta make this video. I gotta address something. This is big. Alright. This isn't just for my viewers. This is for anyone who happens to have this question out in the world. Because it's a big thing. You know, it's 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 big for us anime fans, right? It is. And I want to tell, and I want to talk about it straight up. This is a question that's been asked a lot. And I feel like it's already been covered a lot. But I just want to give my say on it. People think. People think that 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 One Punch Man, right, Saitama, all right, from the show One Punch Man, can can throw hands with my boy Goku from Dragon Ball. All right, all right, this is I just don't even know where to begin. Okay, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so as far as like actual evidence we have, I know that in the show when he when uh. One Punch Man's fighting Boros, the main antagonist. Boros says something to the effect of, I will now launch my attack that will that can destroy the planet. And my boy One Punch Man, he kind of deflects it with a fair amount of ease. Now, that puts One Punch Man pretty handily at, like, planetary level, maybe? Possibly? Like, maybe he can punch the planet to death. I don't know. But, but let's get something straight here. So, you go to Dragon Ball, right? So Frieza, with his dainty little finger, was like, hmm, Planet Vegeta, I don't like it. Hmm. Finger, just giant ball of fire and death, just destroy Planet Vegeta. Easy, in his first form, right? His weakest form. And then you skip ahead to when Goku fights him as a Super Saiyan. And, and Frieza's in his final form, full power. Like, this is like, like, leagues ahead of his first form, right? So he's like... Like, way past planetary level easily in his final form. He was, pe pe like, past that in his first form. My boy Goku in Super Saiyan 1, before he even learned how to control it, was slapping. And I'm not saying that jokingly. He literally slapped my boy Frieza. And, and he, he won handily. Like, he, like, Goku flat out said, he's like, this ain't fun anymore. Right? Like, I'm not, this ain't cool. Like, you know, I'm just, I'm bored. I'm leaving. And... So, and this is like in the beginning of Z, right? Like, like, not to mention you have when he masters Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, right? You've got Super Saiyan 3, right? And, and dare I even go into the realm of like Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, he can stack Kaioken on Super Saiyan Blue, Right? And then if you even want to get into like ridiculous like amounts of power that can't even be that can't even really be described, you've got Ultra Instinct from Super at the very end of Super. So like you're gonna sit here and tell me that my boy One Punch Man can throw hands with Goku, you know? And, and Boros may have been just like you know just talking out his ass too, like oh I can blow up the whole planet. What if he couldn't even do that? So like that wouldn't even put One Punch Man on planetary level. But Goku was doing that handily in the beginning of the show as to where now he's literally like God as far as like power wise. So, I mean, it's, it's just like, I just, I don't, I don't understand. I re I really don't. I just, I don't get it. I just, you hate to see it happen. I mean, honestly, like I get this, I, I hate it when I when I get this, right? I've had this a couple times, right? I've had this, right? Oh, I wonder I wonder what's gonna wonder wonder uh wonder how super's gonna be and dubbed. I'm I'm curious. I'm curious. It's, it's pretty nuts, you know. Hey, hey yo dog. Hey yo dog I got a, I got a question. You know anime, right? You have no life, right? You just you just watch anime, right? Right, dog? I mean, I, I wouldn't go that far. I mean, I, I think I have a life, right? But I mean, yeah, I know quite a bit. Do you have, do you have a question or something I can help you with? <laughs> All right, cool. Cool, dog. All right, yeah, I got a question. I got a question. All right, so, 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 let's, so you know One Punch Man, right? Do you, like, like, do you think you could probably beat, like, someone, like, crazy strong? 
like like Goku maybe, right? Like Goku. Like he, he his name was One Punch Man, right? Like he's super strong. Like, he could totally do it, right? Right? That's what I deal with. And that's honestly, I mean that. Show me the car facts, my dude. Like, like I, I get that a lot. Like, I've heard from my friend, you know, he's like, dude, he, Super Punch Man's strong. Right? He could probably do it. Like, that's in a very objective statement, right? Like, you're not giving me any numbers. You're not giving me any situations. Like, you're just saying, oh, yeah, One Punch Man's strong. He's One Punch Man. He can One Punch Man anything. He can just whoosh. That's not really how that works. Like, like, like my boy Krillin. My boy Krillin could slap, could like easily beat Saitama. Now, now I'm not saying I, I that Krillin is bad or anything. I love my boy. He he got a bombshell like 18. All right, my boy's doing good. I'm not saying that, but I mean he's still like the weakest out of all the fighters. You know the main cast of guys in in Dragon Ball Z. So you take like the one of the weakest guy. Well, maybe besides Yamcha, but even Yamcha could do it. Like. These low tier Dragon Ball characters, these Earthlings, even they like way surpass One Punch Man, like by now. Like it's just ridiculous. So like when you ask me, can he beat Goku? You know, Goku like back in Dragon Ball when he was like a baby when he bonked his head and he was like an infant and he couldn't even do anything, and he cried a lot. Maybe he could throw hands with that Goku. I bet he could probably do something against that Goku. You know, that's a possibility, I guess. But but you know, anything past Dragon Ball like, I get it. Maybe he'd have some sort of chance against pre-Z. Like, just Dragon Ball Goku. Up to, like, when he fought Piccolo in the tournament and everything. But, like, once you start in Z and upward, there's no way. There's no way. Like, it's just, it's not even fair. I mean, theoretically, like, I'm not even joking. My boy Goku could probably whip out his PP and, and smack Saitama with it so hard that he breaks Saitama's neck, all right? The only person that I know to this day that's been able to take Goku's PP is his wife, Chi-Chi. And she's the strongest woman I've ever met. She scares me, alright? She scares Goku. And you know what he, my boy, can do. So, like, that's she's the only one to date that I know has been able to take the the PP like that. But, like, Saitama just gonna, like, whoosh, like you put me to slap him with his PP. Like, I'm not even kidding with you guys right now. Like, seriously. And so... It's just nuts to me that people even think that way. But, like, for the sake of argument, let's say that they're both the same amount of power. Let's say that Goku gets just just super, super low. Like, he's, like, got one punch man, like, strength-wise. You still got to take into account that, that Goku knows martial arts, like, a lot. Like, it's been stated multiple times that Goku is a fighting genius, right? And I remember, like whatever his name was, like, Silver Fang or something like that, White Fang, he was one of the the heroes in One Punch Man. He was talking, like, dude, Saitama, you don't even know, like, martial arts? And he's like, nah, man, I just punch stuff. And, like, he even talked about, like, what a waste of potential it was. Like, he doesn't even know how to use, like, like, One Punch Man is, like, not using his full potential because he's not even, he doesn't even know martial arts. So he's just throwing casual punches. He's just, he just happens to be so overpowered that he can just punch stuff. Could you imagine, like, if he got into a fight with Goku and they were the same power level, Goku would still win a hand-to-hand -hand fight, probably, because Goku knows martial arts, he knows how to fight, whereas Saitama really doesn't. That's a big thing that I don't think people think about, is he actually knows how to fight. I shook my camera, I'm sorry. I'm getting, exci I'm getting excited, alright? I like to talk about this stuff. But, so, and then you gotta add on to that Goku's techniques. He uses instant transmission, which is literally instantaneous movement, so he can teleport. So even though he might, if you were to give him the same abilities, like strength as Saitama, so he wouldn't be faster technically, he still would be able to outspeed him because he has instant transmission. He can attack from long range because he's got things like his Ki Blast and his Kamehameha, you know, he's got all that jazz. And to add on to it, if you, if you count techniques, if he were still to have like Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan is still a huge buff. So like if you were still to, or Kaioken, Kaioken isn't as big of a buff, but he can still use Kaioken, and that, like, drastically makes him stronger. So, like, even if they were on the same level of play, like, the same, like, playing field, Saitama would still lose just because of the lack of experience and the lack of abilities he has compared to Goku. 
So I'm sorry to say it, but like, quote me on this, Nova King 2018, my boy Goku could slap Saitama with his dong.